Hello, the internet. It is Friday, the 21st of April, 2023, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the uh, saga of Fiber to the Premises install from Fiber to the Node upgrade style. This could well be the last video in the series. Actually, it won't be. There'll be another one, but I'll explain why and how in a moment. Because right now I have fiber to the premises. It is on. It is running. In actual fact, this video should have been made the day that the last video. So if you haven't seen the saga and you haven't followed along, at least watch this one here. I'm linking it up the top there. At least watch that because that one there well, what was meant to happen that day, well, what did happen that day was the fiber got installed. So I think where I left you was that the NBN uh, excavations, escalations manager was saying that they may have to uh, dig up the road because there's a blockage, two blockages underneath the road and one blockage from the house to the to the street corner or to the street side, to the street side. Turns out uh, the NBN guy that was out here managed to blow through it, high pressure blow through, and cleared the blockages in the street. So there was no need to dig up the street. And what that meant was that the NBN guy could come out and install the NTD on the same day. Well, it was a little bit tricky because it was raining. And the first of all, I wasn't here and then the guy disappeared. And yeah, anyway, long story short, thanks to the excavations manager, thanks to the escalations manager, uh, we did have the install done on the day. So uh, NTD was installed. Now, as it stands right now, I'm using fiber. And by the way, I got to tell you this, it was lovely to rip out all that old data cabling and all the ADSL crap and all the old phone lines. It was all that crap went in the bin. It was so it was cathartic to rip that shit off the wall and chuck it in the bin. But I will tell you this. So the NTD is in the garage and the modems or the modem for the Wi-Fi and everything is in the center of the house because that gives best coverage for the whole house when the kids are here and whatnot. So I wanted to run the live. I ran Cat5 cable up into the roof and around and down and back bambling and did all the connections. But what I want to tell you is that the NBN guy, I don't need to tell you his name because he's just, just a tech, but he he wanted, get this, he wanted to run the last freaking mile from the NTD to the modem over the old school copper cable for the ADSL. And I was like, dude, there's not a chance in hell I'm using that cable. I don't care that it's already patched through. I am not touching that crap. The whole idea of fiber was to do fiber, right? It sucks that you've got to go cat five. And I'll talk about why cat five isn't great. And I'll do a speed test and you'll see why. Um, yeah, there's no way I'm using that. Like he was like, oh, it's not going to be. Dude, no, no. It's been there for how long? It's rubbish. I'm going to have fun pulling that crap out of the wall. So once it was installed, and I did patch that Cat5 cable through, it became apparent that the speed that I'm getting is not the speed that I'm paying for. Uh, paying for a gigabit down and only 50 up, which sort of sucks, but that's just the way it is in Australia. I'd rather synchronous. I'd rather 500 down, 500 up. But the pr So let me do a speed test and let me show you. Now, I don't want to give away my IP, but if I, if I go to fast.com, yeah, it'll do the speed test here anyway. So the interesting thing to note here is that Cat5 cabling is capped to 100 megabits a second. But as you can see, we're going over that to 190. Now, I want to show you more info to show you the upload speed, but I don't want to give away my IP address. So I'm going to zoom this in by 11 skins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then click Show More Info and scroll down a little so you can see the upload speed and you don't see my IP. 41 uh, megabits up, which is fine. Uh, nine millisecond ping and uh, 51 millisecond load time. So what I'm, what I'm illustrating here is that I don't know why it's going over 100. It should be capped to 100. We're running about 40 meters, including the up and through the roof and down and whatnot of Cat5 cable. Now I've run that cable but I've left it sort of half half asked because I am going to patch 
Cat5e through. Now Cat5e will give you gigabit speeds. Um, there's no need to go to Cat6, I don't believe. Cat5e will cover it. But isn't that interesting that we're hitting 190 on Cat5, which doesn't make any logical sense, but I'm happy for it. And I'll tell you what, I've done a couple of live streams and it is awesome to not have to worry about will this thing drop off? Will this connection not stay solid? It's been solid. In fact, it's been on since whatever the date was. I can't remember the last date, but it's 21st of April now and it's been on the whole time. Flawless, great, love it. So um, I want to thank the Excavations Escalation Manager. I'm not naming them, but you know that this person did step in and, and escalate this and make sure that it happens. We're not done yet, though. I'll tell you now, we're not done yet because once this Cat 5e cable arrives and I patch it all through, I will be doing speed tests. And if it doesn't get to a gig or close thereof, I will be calling and I'll be saying, hmm, something's not right and it's not at my end. So I will make another video in this series, but for the sake of when you see your suburb being announced on the list of suburbs to have free fiber to the premises upgraded from fiber to the node, you're not so lucky if you've got an HF, HFC connection, they're not being upgraded at this point. If you've got a lousy node connection and your suburb gets announced, you may want to watch this entire playlist series of 11 videos now just to see what you may be up against uh, should there be issues. And from what I understand from my research, there are issues. There are a lot of issues countrywide with this rollout. Uh, as you all are well aware, it's a long time coming. Uh, I'm very happy that I've got fiber to the premises. I want to patch that cable in and then do the test. And then I'll be honest, once that test confirms gigabit down, probably going to drop the, the plan back to a more of a reasonable plan. Look, I'd be happy to go if Aussie Broadband would offer uh, 100 down and 100 up synchronous, I'd go with that. 250 down, 250 up, I'd go with that. None of this 40 up and one gig down crap. Just make it even. It's the internet. It's up and down. You got to send packets and receive packets. I don't never understood why Australia is so. They they in fact Australian RSPs only ever talk about the download speed. They don't talk about upload speeds. Everybody's uploading to the cloud. They're backing up. They're doing their data drop boxes and their what was that one? Drobo. They're all do, everybody's uploading, but nobody's talking about the speeds. I want speed of upload. Anyway, just yeah, just a quick. Thank you again to the NBN excav Escalation. I was going to do it right that time. The excavate Escalations Manager at NBN Co. who did step in here, uh, albeit close to the end, but did step in and we did resolve this. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy. Hope you're happy. Hope this helped you. If you're uh, interested in anything else. Jack Daniels, surfing, live streams, music, good times. You might want to still stick around my channel. My channel is a little all over the place. You know, content's a little varied, let's just say. It's me, right? This is my YouTube channel, so it's just me doing stuff. And if stuff interests you, then maybe the stuff that I do might tickle your fancy and you can hang out and do stuff with me. Right now, I'm going to upload this video. I'm going to go and do a live stream on this beautiful fiber to the internet machine nodes gone connection premises and I'm loving it and I'll see you yahoos don't forget to share like and subscribe and do all the stuff on the next uh oh well whenever I do the uh patch I'll do the speed test and it'll be a quick video till then cheers is is